Good morning, it is me, your humble, friendly neighborhood stroke salter. Well, I downloaded a couple of software pieces to try to learn how to edit videos, and it's just too fucking confusing. Um, I'll try again with something that maybe might be a bit more intuitive. Um, yeah, it, it wasn't going to happen. Um, I tried to download these things, and it just wasn't... Yeah... So if someone can recommend a um, piece of software that I can use to edit videos, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, so, as part of my new normal, I try to challenge myself, and one of the challenges I was trying to do was learn how to edit videos to make this a bit more professional channel. Because there is a response video I want to make, um, because there is a channel, much like the mundane Matt, uh, when I called him to task for his apparent mental health issues, um, there's a channel called Extreme Games, and the two of them suffer from a massive, horrendous case of bullshit aloma. Um, and I, I really want to edit in portions of their video so I can do a proper response video, because I've been researching a whole bunch of stuff. And I want to make that just a brilliant video, and I've been trying to do that for the past day and a bit. I'm just, my brain is a bit throbbing right now, trying to learn a new task, and these programs are not intuitive at all. And I'm pretty savvy, because I do tech support for a living, and I'm like, fuck. So if someone out there can recommend a decent free, quote-unquote free, piece of software that I can use to edit videos, um, I would happily take that advice. So, um, yes. So, anyways, um, I had a phone call with the insurance company today, also a little bit frustrating. Um, they've had my documentation for three weeks. Three weeks. Which was sooner than work was going to give it to them. And I had a conversation with them eight, nine days ago. Where we set up a call today to determine what needs to be done for the claim. And then I find out today it has yet to be approved. Well, you need to approve the fact that I had a stroke? Um, so... Yay to the insurance company. Big fucking fail. Um, so, how does it take this long to approve something when you've had all the documentation for at least two weeks? The last phone call I had with someone from your organization, you indicated that there's no follow-on supporting documentation needed that the claim is not lacking any documentation, and at that point, you had enough documentation to adjudicate a claim. What the fuck? Right. Oh, and then the questions I had to answer? Um, just a little bit fucking belittling. Um, you know, like, you've got all the documentation, um... What more could you need? Like, like what, what is so incomprehensible that you can't figure out that, A, I had a stroke, B, I've had a neurologist write me off until December of this year. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't figure that one out. So... And, and I tried to remain calm with the lady on the phone. Like, I let her know that her process doesn't make any sense, that I find it very frustrating. Um, and then I had a video I was trying to learn to edit with on the five things you should never do or things you should never say. Unfortunately, I was trying to learn to edit, and it didn't work out the way I wanted it. So I'm just going to post it raw. 
But whoever does their training needs to reteach them the strategic use of language. Because I found it offensive. I found it befuddling. And I found it belittling. Like whoever whoever does their training on, on how to interact with clients, and I'm going to assume they have to do that regularly. Um, the now this I, I and I'd like to think it's not the individual I dealt with because she was actually fairly helpful, um, so to speak. Um, but I got a lot of well, if, when, um, you know. If we approve your claim, what do you mean if? There, there's no if there. You're going to fucking approve it. I had my stroke in front of people at work. You know, um, that's kind of not up for debate. What do you mean if? I kind of have a note from a neurologist saying I had a stroke. And I'm written off for six months. Um, so, some other use of language strategically doesn't make sense. In fact, I told her, whoever does your training needs to give their head a shake because the way, and it could be just, it could be a form she's reading or a script she's using or, or I, I don't know what, but whoever whoever does their training um, need, needs to rethink, A, how they're training their people uh, on, on dealing with people that have had major life events. Uh, B, they need to rethink the use of language that they use with people that have had major life events. Um, C, you need to learn to not make people wait. I gave you the documentation. I faxed it to you two and a half weeks ago. You've had it for at least at least 10 business days. At least 10 business days. And then we had a conversation a week and a bit ago about having an arranged phone call today about my claim. And then today you want to have a conversation about if we approve it? Well, the last conversation we had left me with the impression, the distinct impression, um, that that decision would have been made by now. Now. And that decision would have been made, and then the conversations we were going to have today we're going to be about my needs. So, way to drop the ball, right? Um, because now I'm left wondering, are you going to even approve the claim? Um, which is a no-brainer, because if they don't approve it, we're going to have a bit of a shit show. Um... And then I'm left wondering, well, now I've got to wait another week, potentially, to get things in place that I need in two months from now, like, ish, right? So, the fourth month is coming up in six days. So, that means I have roughly two months to get everything in place for me to get ready to go back to work. When that's my ultimate goal is 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 to go back to work. Um, my my full intent is to go back to work, uh, to become productive, contributing, constructive member of the team. That that's my goal. It's always been my goal is to get my ass back to work. Get your ass to Mars, right? That that kind of deal. But now. Fuck. I find it... Fucking retarded. 
And I realize it's the R word and people are going to get all offended. Well, that's nice. Get offended. Don't care. Um, I find it completely inconscionable that you're not ready to have that conversation today when you told me at least a week ago you had all the documentation you needed and it takes at least 10 days to make an adjudication. And it's been at least six business days that we had that conversation. Um, so, I find it perplexing that we arranged to have a, a, a call today and you're trying to tell me that you're calling me today to let me know you still need to do stuff? No. I'm sorry. Highly ineffective. Um, highly not helpful. I just find it a bit disrespectful. You know, like you've had the documentation for at least two weeks. What, what is there to decide? You, you're going to re-adjudicate the fact that I had a stroke? Or that you're going to re-adjudicate the fact that... Like, I, I don't get it. But, whatever. Just another piece of the puzzle that... If you've had a stroke, <clears throat> you're going to find... That... You're going to be left waiting for people. And be the professional or friends or whatever. You're going to be finding a lot of this experience is waiting for the next shoe to drop. Right? You're going to set up an appointment. You're going to go to the appointment. <clears throat> and then you're going to wait for the results. And then you got to call someone. And then they're going to set up a thing. And then you're going to have to wait for that thing. So, unfortunately, with this whole strokey thing, yeah, it's not such a fun time. Let me tell you here. Because I'm now left waiting after being left waiting. Um, and had I not faxed in the paperwork, on my own accord, I'd be left waiting longer. So, now, I know this might sound a bit contradictory to what I've said before. So, you're going to have to be your own self advocate. Don't get me wrong. Um, you're going to have to stay on top of things. Don't get me wrong. And things are going to get frustrating completely. However, one, if you're dealing with professionals that are trying to help you, don't take your frustrations out on them. It's not like become an asshole just at stroke. No. Um, let them know you're frustrated. Let them know why. Let them know it has nothing to do with them. Because I was plain and clear with the, the lady I dealt with on the phone. Hey, look, you've been great. Um, but I find the way your organization deals with things is dumb. Like, just stupid. Um, and I let her know that I'm not really unhappy with you, because I really don't know you yet, so you haven't had a reason to make me unhappy. That could change. Um, what I am unhappy with is the way this whole process is working. Um, not so well so far. But don't also don't take the frustration and spin that into discouragement. Right? Because I've had a couple good phone calls today. Um, so don't automatically take every moment of frustration and spin that into discouragement. Because yes, it is discouraging to me that the insurance company was not ready to have a conversation today where I was. I'm, I've been ready to have that conversation for about a month now. Or wanting to have that conversation for a month. Realistically, I've probably been ready for about two weeks. Um... But that is what it is. So if you are going through the throes of your own recovery, 
or helping someone is supporting someone through theirs. You got to try to help keep their frustration level low because you get ridiculously easily frustrated at times because of a stroke. But you also have to make sure that their frustration does not spin into discouragement. Because, and also you have to make sure that their frustrations do not become instant asshole just had stroke. Because that's not a cool thing. You can't, you can't do that. But that being said, uh, if you happen to like what you've been watching over the last three, almost four months, it'll be four months and six days, um, what you've been watching, please like, share, subscribe, share with a friend. If you know someone that's currently going through either their own assaulting of their stroke or someone who's supporting an assaulter, please recommend the channel to them, get them on board, right? They might get some, some something useful out of this. And if you happen to notice either in yourself or someone around you the signs or symptoms of a stroke, that being facial droop, inability to raise both arms equally effectively or at all, uh, slurred, stuttering speech, inappropriate to, uh, inability to smile equally effectively or at all, um, inappropriate word usage for situation or context, uh, inability to raise both arms, already got that one, uh, inability to stand unaided, general body weakness or weakness on one side, please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911, something so simple could save a life.